again YouTube and welcome to another video. This time we have a, another blue box, nothing too special about this blue box um, and indeed nothing about the um, paper inside that's too special either. However, these are the Forum Home Alone Edition GZ4378 in a size 10 and a half and here they are. Um, really, really, really nice release. This a uh, bit of a collector's release, really, uh, based upon the uh, the Adidas Forum Low, and um, these are the as you can see Home Alone Special Editions. Basically, this is a uh, a release based upon the uh, altercation or the the fight that um, Kevin McAllister undergoes when he uh, tries to defend his home against the wet bandits in the first Home Alone movie. So let's just go through some of these details, or at least all the details about these. They're slightly different on each um, trainer. Let's go with the right-hand one. We've got some scorch marks at the back of the toe box and at the side here. A couple of hand tags, um, Home Alone, and then there's Kevin McAllister holding the uh, iron and a uh, hairdryer as well. Um, nice trefoil on the uh, the outside here. These, you'll see this quite a lot, this uh, kind of crazy uh, zigzag stitching. That's supposed to be the um, scribbles of Kevin McAllister when he's drawing up his battle plan against the, uh, the wet bandits. Um, round the back there, we've got the McAllister motif that you'll see in the film. Um, it's actually on the handle, I think, of the front door. And I think it's, uh, is it Harv, who um, tries to uh, grab the door handle and it's got the, the coal uh, heater that lights up the uh, or heats up the uh, the handle and of course he burns his hand uh, moving around to the inside forget whether it's the medial side anyway that doesn't matter some more scribbling um, and you've got the home alone door mat there which is a really 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 nice feature all this um, frayed stuff is supposed to be on here obviously these are uh, supposed to be replica of um, Edmund McAllister's uh, shoes that he wore in the film uh, in Seoul as well so that's uh, pretty good there uh, and I'll, we'll come on to the, um, the, the the different insoles that you get um, but all in all really really nice shoe let's just move on to the uh, the left hand shoe again we've got a scorch mark on the back side of the um, toe box uh, moving around the side some more scribbles same detailing on the back now just coming on to this I've read various reports that um, this is supposed to glow in the dark. I can confirm it does not glow in the dark. Whether it's supposed to or not uh, is a, um, a different thing, but this is the uh, the coal, um, I think it's a coal heater or something like that, that um, obviously you uh, put in a fire to uh, to heat up the coal to, to make the flames. Kevin McAllister puts it around the, the, the doorknob. Um, but I can say, yeah, this does not glow in the dark. So whether it should do or not, I don't know. And on the outside there, you get the... Um, home alone house logo which is pretty cool some more scribbles uh, and then on this one instead of the um, home alone doormat well you still get a doormat but it's the uh, trefoil for um, for the adidas and again nice um, insole there which is pretty darn cool you also get a bunch of um, lace jellies I'll just try and show them to you I tell you what let me just put these trainers in the background there so you're just not looking at carpet um, we've got an iron uh, we've got a fan that obviously blows the feathers over um, one of the wet bandits. Uh, we've got a tin of paint as well that um, he, uh, I think he swings down down the stairs, doesn't he? Some uh, cracked a cracked bauble. Is this coming out in focus? Yeah, it is now. A cracked bauble that obviously he leaves outside of one of the um, or inside the uh, window and the wet bandits van, which is pretty cool. And then lastly, we've got the uh, fire extinguisher as well. And then we've got some pretty excellent um, insoles as well. Uh, Merv, I think that is Merv, is it Merv and Harry, the wet bandits? And of course, there he is with his um, iron mark on his forehead there, which is pretty cool. And then we've got the um, one of the other guy getting uh, blown over with... Um, feathers which is pretty cool and then the last one is him getting his head on fire as well so yeah pretty pretty good little connection all this lot um 
some nice accessories to go. And again, on the uh, on the website, you were supposed to get a, uh, a lace lock of a pizza, but um, I didn't, and it's not in any of the images as well. So again, I don't know whether uh, Adidas have um, kind of messed up a little bit, but uh, there we go. All in all, really, really, really nice um, uh, release. Uh, I've reached out to Adidas about these little issues about the uh, uh, glow in the dark heel tab there, whether it does actually glow in the dark. Not heard anything back from them, which is uh, pretty typical, but there we go. Um, I hope you like the review. Don't forget to like. Sorry for the uh, slightly weird cut there, guys. Um, I just remembered one other thing that um, I forgot to show you before, um, and it's underneath these uh, signature uh, Velcro pieces on the forum. Um, one of them uh, underneath there is absolutely nothing at all, as you can see. Um, but the other one, it reads, this is my house. I have to defend it. Obviously, that's what uh, Macaulay Culkin says uh, just prior to him going into uh, battle with the, uh, with the wet bandits. Anyway, like I say, uh, yeah, really, really, really good uh, connection um, with uh, Home Alone. Uh, Bit of a collector's um, shoe, as I say, but uh, really, really nice all the same. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Thank you.